That's why I'm not a professional. What is up guys? Today we're going to be reviewing the One Wheel Pint X. I just got my order and I'm surprised it actually came in like four or five days, which is amazing. So we're gonna be reviewing the uh, One Wheel Pint X from a photographer's perspective. Um, I actually already took it on a couple of weddings. I've had like three or four weddings already since I got it. And I've been using it to lug my gear around and I'm actually here driving around in the parking lot. I'm gonna do this review while driving it. Um, so I wanna start off by saying, oops, yo, I've never actually ridden a one wheel before. This is actually like a first time for me. Um, I learned how to ride it, I would say decently well within the first eight hours, six hours. Um, I had to finish a full batteries charge, I would say, which got me about 12 miles. I would say after 12 miles, I got um, I got pretty good at it. I could relatively drive on straight, pa straight pavement. So first of all, the One Wheel Pint X is amazing. I'll tell you why. I wanted to buy the One Wheel Pint last year when it was announced, but the reason I didn't is because of the range. It said about six to eight miles, if I remember correctly. And six to eight miles just didn't justify um, what I would want to use it for. Obviously, I'm not using it for much besides for like weddings and traveling around short distances, but um, I factored in the amount of times I'd be charging the battery and me doing the tasks that I wanted and I realized, you know, the, the amount of battery usage, meaning cycles, I don't know if you guys know about um, uh, battery charging cycles, but the more you um, charge your battery, it won't last as long. So more battery life gets you, you know, more range and more, more life overall. Which one did I get? I got the the tennis ball green we got the limited edition one i actually ordered within the first two days which gives you like 150 dollars off i think the most on a bundle um i got the most expensive bundle which gave you the carbon fiber fender that ultra charger i got a bumper i got rail guards and yeah that was that's about it um overall i'm very happy with it i gotta say um, it's not the easiest thing to maneuver. You got to be like somewhat agile, but uh, it's it's overall it's really great. As you can see, I'm like riding around this parking lot, relatively easy. I'm going to be actually doing a wedding right here at the atrium ballroom. That's the ballroom we're going to be working at today. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be taking it around today. Um, the first thing I want to show you guys what I use it for is actually lugging gear around. So I'm going to switch frame right now. I'm going to go pick up my gear and I'm going to um, actually show you how I bring gear. So this is the parking lot. I don't usually park. I don't usually park so far to the front door, but not always when I get here is the is the parking lot so empty. So I will show you in a second what it's like to be able to lug uh, something big around. I'm gonna have my think tank bag one second. All right, so I got my huge think tank bag out. This is it. I'm going to be taking it. Um, I, I'm not super professional at this yet. So I actually have to drive around a little bit to be able to take it on an angle. And there we go. Just take it with me. And yeah, as you guys can tell, this is relatively easy. The one wheel pulls most of the weight super functional this is really good like if you're a photographer that doesn't have an assistant today i happen to not have an assistant and um yeah this thing is phenomenal man i could just drive all the way out to the front 
I can pick up the speed. It's really nice. It, it doesn't pull too much on the body. It's really good center of gravity. And then you pull up all the way to the front. See, that's why I'm not a professional. And that falls off. And there we go. <laughs> As you guys can tell from that fall over there, I am not a professional. And um, yeah, so, but still, that thing is amazing. The fact that you can pull such weight, that think tank bag is at least 75 pounds. And all the sandbags that I have and all the gear that's inside, the lights and everything. Yeah, that thing is a beast. So there you have it, guys. The One Wheel Pint X is a very versatile vehicle. Um, not only is it good for fun and shredding, but it is also amazing at functional purposes, like maybe transferring your gear. Um, so I personally love this purchase and I highly recommend um, if you guys want to purchase one like this. Um, it, I will note it is super dangerous, it is super easy to fall off of, but usually you can catch yourself without you know falling on your face. You can usually catch yourself with your feet 